Welcome to Azul Coding. This video will show you how to use URL switch params in JavaScript, which allows you to create and read query strings like this. And as always, there will be a link to all the code in the description. I've started by creating a basic HTML page for reading in color values based on a query string. I've also added a button that we'll be using later on in the video to create some query strings. If I open the JavaScript file, I've started by adding a function that takes in the name of a colour, in this case either red, green or blue, and changes the value based on the page to match this val attribute. Let's start by reading the query strings in the address bar. So if we add this code at the top here, we'll be able to read each colour value. The first line simply creates a new URL search params using window.location.search to retrieve the current query string. And after that, we're just going to use the function below to add those values to the page with the help of the .get function to get the specific query we're looking for. And as you can see on the right, there are no values at the moment, so let's add a query string to the address bar. There we go, we can now read the query string. Let's move on to checking if a particular query exists. So let's say we've entered a query string into the address bar that contains a value for red and green, but not for blue. Now that we've removed blue, of course there's no value being displayed for blue. If instead we wanted to include a default value of 0 like we had before, we need to check if blue was present. All you need to do is add an if statement for each colour value using the dot has function like so. In other words, if blue is present in the query string, we'll add the value for blue. Otherwise we won't do anything and leave the default value of 0 there. As you can see on the right, that's now taken effect. Now we'll try to create some query strings. I've added this button here to generate a random value for each colour. You could of course just update the values as before, without generating a new query. But we'll stick with URL search params to see how you can create a new query string. And we can do that by using this randomize function. It starts by creating a new URL search params variable. I then set each colour value a random number between 0 and 255 using the dot set function, and lastly by setting window.location.href, we can navigate to a page with our query string. Let's test it out. So as you can see, we're getting random numbers every time with a matching query string in the address bar. We can now read and create query strings, so let's finish off by looping through them. So far we've just been looking at specific queries for red, green and blue. If we wanted to look at the entire query string, we can simply loop through it using a for statement. For every query we'll log the results using p0 as the name of the string, such as red, and p1 as the value. As you can see on the right, we already have values for our three colours, so let's add a few more. I've added purple and yellow onto the end of the query string, and as you can see, the values for red, green and blue are still being added to the page, but a list of fault colours can be seen in the console here. Let's summarise what we've covered today. First we looked at using a .get function to read a particular query, then we checked if a query exists using .has. To create a new query string we use .set, and we just looked at loop and through a query string to get the full list of queries. All of the code in this video is available on my website, and the link will be in the description. Why not check out the other videos on my channel, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest from Azul Coding. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.